Oh my god. Empty gosh. room. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm losing my hat. Every time. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. bad. You know okay. what? Wait. Should we just redo everything? <laughs> Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Hello, hey guys. creative weirdos. Welcome to another OMG Wacko. OMG Wacko. OMG, we are coming over to Lily Marston's Oh place. my God. Guys. Finally. We've this been has wanting been to do it for like two years two now. Two years. Ever since we did Jocelyn's place. Exactly. It's like a magic, like we're gonna cast the spell in this place. <laughs> I'm like serving you cocktails in your home. Welcome. <laughs> you guys know Jocelyn Davis, who's Lily's partner, friend, co-star on Clever Style. And Lily's been wanting to have a decorating experience with us, so we are finally here at Lily's Place It's gonna today. be perfect. Pottery Barn has their new PB apartment line, and they're sponsoring the video, so they're giving us everything that we're gonna put into her space, yes. and we have a ton of stuff. And it's all it's so awesome. gorgeous, and soft, and cozy, and totally Lily's aesthetic. Subscribe, yes. comment, become a creative weirdo. We're always doing fun videos here. Give us a thumbs up, too. Let like us know what you do. think after you watch the video. Yeah. Because I think you're gonna like it. Let's get up there. Let's go. Woohoo! Willie! Oh I'm so so excited! <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas, and you guys are Santa. We, we, are, we are Santa. We are mutually yes. excited. Uh, yeah. This, this has is been something we've been talking about for forever. Over here. Oh, it is so about time that we are at Lily Marston's place. This has been needing to happen for way too long. We've been talking with her for like, couple of years now, ever since we did Jocelyn's Space. Kate and Joey are here. They have some stuff. I'm so excited. I really don't know what to expect. I gave some inspiration photos, but like, I'm ready for them to just like work their magic. You have a very beige room. I mean, this is like true beige. It's like pretty brown. Basically, if you just took like your science teacher's pants and like slapped them on the wall. So we gotta really brighten it up. Let's Good. paint the beige away. Let's but let's talk about your life. style though. So yes. you and I within our long text chain have inspo images that you've sent me. So I told Kate before any of this that my number one thing that I need is comfort. I want blankets, I want a comfy couch, I want twinkle lights. Anything to just make it feel very cozy but still like presentable like an adult lives there. Lily's style is very cozy, it's very monochromatic. Think grays and creams and textures. Why am I not in any of these text chains? You mean you're on a group text chain? Yeah. Like what time to show up and stuff? Yeah. But Ours is more about that. like your oh, cats. Ours. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're like actual friends. I would it's like okay. to hope so. We're it's okay. Legit. This is how the series works. We just go around the city. Kate picks up friends. <laughs> and Joey, and just, who like paints everything. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. He's excited. So the beautiful thing about vertical blinds is they're very easy to take off. Which is why all rental apartments use them. I'm not the biggest fan of vertical blinds. It's kind of like a default thing that a lot of landlords put into their places because they're easy to install. Get rid of your vertical blinds. If you live in a rental, store them under your bed, store them in a closet, and live the curtain life. All of that bulk that was filling up your window is just gonna be now one little tube worth of Storage. Should I keep these in a shadow box? Yeah. Oh, shadow box. <laughs> That's like a running thing with you and Jocelyn, right? Yeah, she says she puts her baby teeth and first haircut in them and stuff. So oh, gross. It's disgusting. All right, so you ready to paint? Yeah, I have to say I've never painted before, so this is the first time. <gasps> Nothing. What? I'm surprised. For some reason, I thought she would have painted before. Let's just say I'm not an experienced painter, and by that I mean I've never painted anything in my life. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would do this. It's like a little key. Yeah, exactly. Like, reminds me of like opening up takeout. Okay. <gasps> oh. I love this paint color. It's called faded gray. This is gonna really brighten up the space. Watch oh, wow. the extension. Oh. Lily, no. We like, okay, go. Oh no, God, no. stop, stop. Oh. Yeah. Ah, Tell me why that. No, okay, no, that's not crazy. Oh, no. okay. How do you do? do you guys, crafts in general, not my strong suit. One, two, three. Ah. Wow. I always think this looks so fun for like a minute and then I would imagine it gets very old. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> that's all Kate will let you paint for. I love this paint color. I can already see how much it's covering up the khaki in such a beautiful way. All right, we have some major surface area we've covered. I feel like we've done our <laughs> 
fair share. <laughs> I have a time sensitive project that I want to do with you. It involves your photography skills, so will you get your camera? Yes. And I have some other props I need to gather and I'll meet you outside. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two All right, bye. bye. Huh? You don't even try to include me. Well, no, but this is Joey. This is how it works. Would it make you feel better if we texted you later? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Lily, I have brought you to this yeah. dark alley in the yeah. middle of Los Angeles. <laughs> so Kate leads me to this alleyway we're in, and she has some props that she says we're going to work on a project. I brought two jackets, which are going to provide us shade if we need it, oh. OK? I also brought some twinkle lights. I love twinkle lights. Right? Because not only did I bring twinkle lights for you to use. Oh, one of those, like, <gasps> I brought you the moon. So my plan is, let's get under these jackets, use them as kind of the shade, our sort of cavernous universe. And then we could have these, like, just in the background or whatever, or maybe just the moon. Because I want to do two side-by-side -side pictures. It's looking so cool, you guys. And also, Lily's editing skills are amazing. So really, this is, like, half of the project. Just getting the photo is half of it. And then her editing in Photoshop is going to finish. You think we got it? All right, I feel like... We have some more. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You look great. Okay, so you'll get those edited. We'll get them printed in like a couple hours. I don't think I've gotten pictures printed since I was in like eighth grade. Oh, really? This the is drug so exciting. Store. I know. I don't usually so leave my bad. apartment. You just order posters. Oh. And the Postmate will pick them up. It'll be great. So I know. All right, let's hurry. Oh my gosh, more projects. I This is more projects I've done in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> so I love constellations. You know, I think there's something dreamy about the night sky and we're creating this cozy vibe. Okay, so guys, twinkle lights we love. So we've taken photos of twinkle lights. I want to integrate them a little bit more into the space. So I thought about those old constellation maps. It's like you've seen these vintage maps where it's actually a circle representing the universe and within the circle there's the constellations so I figured we could paint the base of this canvas like a beautiful white with maybe some taupe mixed in to make it look kind of like an aged background okay then paint a big like dark gray circle okay. and within the circle drill holes for the constellations and then have the twinkle lights taped on the back poking you not poking through but like seeing them through How, right like can you imagine How do you even, I, I can, and it looks amazing in my breath. How do you even come up with things? So crafts are definitely not my forte, and Kate sits us down, and there's just like a blank wooden canvas. Not something I'm used to dealing with, but she decided that we needed to do a constellation art piece that we're gonna put twinkle lights in. And I think it's gonna look so good, and I can't wait to see it. That's great, Lily. Oh my God, you found your calling, a circle Circles. drawer. <laughs> so I'm not really totally familiar with constellations, but that's why we have our phones in our pockets. Oh, this is in April. Wait, when's it birthday? March. We should do the sky in March. Okay. Oh, I'm just. And if it's super complicated, then we could always yeah, do Yeah, then we could just do April. Yeah. While you're building your universe, I'm just gonna start painting up kind of to our line. So my plan with the background, because this is gonna be going against like your white-ish faded gray walls, yes. I want a slight aged effect on this. So my thought was taking this more like taupey color, just sort of working it in to the white a little bit. Ooh, you know? so it's gonna make me look like sophisticated, exactly. like I have vintage pieces. Like you have like a vintage map on your wall. Don't mind me while I just paint everything, while you guys get to just play with your arts and crafts. Leave Joey to paint the walls. Let me get to hang some curtains after this, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Now, drill let's lane. drill. It's Lily's first time drilling, that's so awesome. Good. Keep applying pressure. There you go. It was fun, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not scary. It's satisfying. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. Now the holes are drilled, it's time to fill in the charcoal of the universe. So yeah, you take the big brush and fill in in the middle. Okay, because like you're just gonna go. Yes. So once our charcoal is dry, I think I'm gonna highlight a little bit in it with the white oh, base. Sure. There's a beautiful dark gray. We're not going fully black because that's gonna be too harsh. We're playing with a lot of tones of gray in this room, keeping it monochromatic. I love it. Oh my gosh, I think that we're done. Okay, so 
We need to let this dry. Yeah. Okay, let's, Joey, are you done? Because I feel like, let's just check on Joey. Joey, wait till uh, you see the constellation. Oh, it looks it's great. All done. <laughs> It looks so good, right? Yeah. You don't seem that excited. Now this wall. No, it does look great. Yeah, I know that's like this is what I deal with. What this wall? It's I'm a like, first coat. Oh. I mean, it's defensive. Yeah, I hope so. It's a little squashy. It, I'm covering a very poopy brown here. Okay. That's true. It's that's true. We'll give you that. Coats. Okay, so you're gonna edit the photos. Yes. Email them to me, yes. and I'll get them printed ASAP. Yes. Yay! Thank you guys. I have so much faith in you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're kicking Lily out. I can't wait for her to see this awesome PB apartment stuff that we're bringing in. But first, we have an epic project. So a lot of Lily's inspiration images had the element of wood, specifically shiplap wood, which is that horizontally placed wood paneling, which just looks so kind of rustic and beautiful and does not exist in Lily's rental. Here's the plan, so oh, I spaced it out, you know, I yeah, did Yeah, no, math. I like this. It's kind of like a brick, you're laying bricks. Yeah, the real way you would do it is you would use a nail gun and nail them in, which for an entire ship lap wall is a lot of nails. And I was thinking, why don't I just take some super thin quarter inch plywood, strip it down into planks, and then use command strips? This is a really genius project that Joey is doing because it is ship lap that is renter friendly. We're using wall safe mounting strips and he's gonna mount the pieces of wood using those strips. It's so genius, it looks so cool, it's gonna make such a big textural difference in this otherwise very plain apartment. Are you this excited? This rug, what is this natural wonder? Okay, so this is actually a blend of two natural fibers, it's wool and jute. Combined. It's a woot! Ultimate coziness! Woot! This is the first Pottery Barn piece we're bringing in. It's incredible, it's luxurious, it's perfect for the space, it's perfect for Lily. It's cozy, it's chic. This is such a cozy rug cuddle. Oh. I'm ready for a nap. Bring it in. Bring it in for the real wait, thing. Wait, wait, you always make my butt no, Bring my it butt. In for no, the real I don't thing. want a butt crack. Alright, so on this big open wall, we're gonna put some really cool floating shelving units. They're really slick silver post with white shelves. We're just gonna mount on the wall and they're gonna look great. Instagram yeah, stories. Yes. So I just wanted to pop over. Lily's not with me, right? No, she okay, doesn't. Good. Absolutely. I told okay, her I had to go to the bathroom. I just wanted to bring over maybe <laughs> some like fun additions that you guys could add to the space. I love how good of friends Lily and Jocelyn are. They like work together every day, but still like Jocelyn hears that we're doing this space. She like has to come and put her own little touch in it for Lily. So, oh my gosh, Converse, so Lily. So her birthday is coming up and her shoes are super messed up, so I already got these for her, brand new <gasps> ones. Shut up, they're gray. Is that your oh aesthetic? Oh my God, look at our color palette, look at the curves. Honestly, I literally already had these. So, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, Dr. Pepper, you know that that's Lily's Lily? gray. So yeah, so I really thought like we could maybe do a shadow box. Wait, you put your baby teeth in the shadow box. Hoping to at some point. <laughs> Haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, what's with the pudding? Okay, so Lily has like a deep love for pudding. Like a very deep love. Like <laughs> she turns into someone I've never met before. Like she goes to another space and I didn't know that until recently. So I thought what better way to make her feel at home than maybe oh, put like, some... like you bought organic Are we pudding. making the pudding? Yeah, no, you. it's just decorative. No, this is going in the shadow. Wait, will, this, will the pudding I don't know. fit in the shadow box? Truthfully, you guys, I just started buying a bunch of weird stuff. Wait, why don't you make that while I finish hanging the shelves? Okay, let's sit down. You guys can sit right there. And do you guys, we have, our, we have our rug out. Oh my gosh, okay. Jocelyn and Lily are two of the funniest people I know. So I guess she wants to just put a shadow box of stuff in Lily's apartment, which is so funny. It's like an ongoing joke between the two of them that you would have a shadow box that your mom made you with like your baby hair and baby teeth. Neither of which we have on hand, thank God, because that sounds kind of gross. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what about this, the Dr. Pepper can? Is it too big it to fit in big. there? Joey, Joey, what? can you chug and smash this can? I believe in you. Yeah, I can stomp a can. Spring break! <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! Woo, woo, woo. Yes, yes, chug, 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 chug! Oh, he isn't that Dr. Pepper in a Shop while. a Dr. Pepper. We're mostly just sparkling water in our house. Same, oh, a little gosh. LaCroix. Oh, he's gonna burp a big old burp. <laughs> wow! Oh. Impressive! Lily wow. will be impressed. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure my 13 year old self could have pounded like three of those in a row and not been phased, but that almost put me in the hospital. Oh my That's God! Cute. I love it's it! It's cute! It's so cute, Jocelyn. I love this. It's Lily right here, her story. It's her story, it's her life. It's her like past, present, and future. Okay. She She's gonna keep this forever. All right, her. honestly guys, yep. uh, Jocelyn, uh -huh. you're unexpected, which is so exciting. <laughs> but, I have to go back to work though. I told everyone I was going to the bathroom like yeah, two I hours want, ago. I want Lily to come home before the sun goes down. I do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jocelyn, for coming over and bringing weird snacks and, and artwork. Uh, okay, guys. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Bye. I think move it over a little center. Oh my gosh. That just fit through the door, like just. Okay, so this is the corner, right? Guys, this L-shaped couch from Pottery Barn Apartment is so amazing because it's modular. So essentially it comes in little pieces and you can put it together however you need for your space. This trunk as a coffee table is so cool because it actually raises up and becomes a higher table. Oh my God, this is the perfect thing for her. Well, I guess for when she's working with it, this is a perfect thing for me to eat food while I watch TV. All right, so we are making the floor plan with this main long wall. That's gonna be the television wall. especially for an apartment. We're playing with different levels in this room. When you don't have a lot of floor space to work with, you really want to work with your vertical space. So one thing we're going to do in her dining area is we're going to replace her lighting fixture. She had a pretty ugly standard lighting fixture before. This light fixture is so cool. Oh my gosh. And I just love the clear glass with the cool black cord and the filament bulbs. There's something very kind of industrial about it, but also still really airy with those big glass shades around them. This is a convertible dining table. It's small, but wait, there's more. Ta -da! This table from Pottery Brown Apartment is perfect because it has these two leaves that fold out. I also love that the base of it is shelves because that is such a great space saving option for people who live in a tiny place and need as much storage as possible. All right, you put the chairs in. I'm gonna finish getting. Who's the boss here? Uh, me. For the dining table chairs, I chose something a little more simple, a little more modern. This succulent art thing is just a garden that you get to hang on your wall. I'm finishing up the DIY math constellation artwork. I'm taping the twinkle lights onto the back using just some masking tape, which is working perfectly to just seal these in. I'm also taping on the battery packs, which you guys know are operated by a remote, so she won't even have to access those unless she needs to change the batteries. On the front of the artwork, I'm just gonna connect the constellations using a fine tipped marker. I was gonna use white paint, but now seeing it, I really think a more subtle black line will just be a more beautiful play. I want those twinkle lights to really be the star of this artwork. Styling these wall mounted shelves is so much fun. You guys know I love a styling moment. Lily has so much beautiful photography, so she sent me more files of just her past photos she's taken, which we also got printed really quickly. Put them in some Pottery Barn frames. They look so good. So by the media unit, I'm placing this awesome round basket that has a lid. I love a basket with a lid. And inside, a beautiful, cozy, faux shearling throw blanket is just artistically spilling out of the basket. <laughs> On top of the media unit, I'm styling this awesome bell jar with a wood base. Inside, I am placing our photo props. I'm placing this awesome gigantic iron tray on top of the media unit. She can corral all of her remote controls and all of that on there. And also the Converse sneakers, which have to be styled on the shelf as well. I mean, they are like a Lily staple item. I love the fabric on the L-shaped couch. It's like a linen, gray color, really welcoming, very soft looking. The room looks so amazing. I don't want to leave, but I'm so glad I'm friends with Lily so that she can invite me over so I can hang out in this space again. But it doesn't matter about me. It's time to show Lily. I <laughs> close, I know. Okay. Tell you. I close. My I'm hands are sweating. It's okay. That's good. That's good. That means you're excited. So on the count of three, one. Right. Oh. oh. I have been open. Oh, I have been open. Okay. I'm not cheating. You know what? Maybe. Oh my God. No. <laughs> do no. you want to show her? Joey, Joey. Okay. It's so oh, no. I'm nervous. Okay, I just want to see it. One, two, two three. three. Oh my <laughs> God.
honestly, I don't even know what's going through my head besides everything. I am freaking out, it looks so good. Right, and look at the shiplap wall. It all looks amazing. And it's removable. 100% renter. Friendly. Friendly. And then I can maybe even bring it to another place. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> little so those are two little stools. You can move them in for more seating. You can move them around your dining table. The dining table has storage underneath. The leaves <laughs> fold down. Oh, and this is so soft. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? Look at, I know. Wait, because I know you like to Netflix and chill. Yeah. <laughs> get some food on. This is like the computer. ultimate Postmates <laughs> table. Yeah. I know, right? Oh my, and photo editing too, like with your oh laptop God, here. Yes! <laughs> we, we, uh, oh, oh wait. So your friend me. Jocelyn Davis, our friend. Yes, you're yes, that girl. Very, mm -hmm. Yes. So, Yonder, stopped she stopped by. Just. <laughs> <laughs> what is in the packet? Pudding. Oh my God. <laughs> and so she came by with all those supplies <laughs> and we made that together. Oh, oh wait, she also brought you something else which I styled in the room. I can't imagine why she thinks I would need new <laughs> shoes. Don't and I'm just obsessed with like our DIY, so right? We're geniuses. I know. Yes. I mean. Like that, I'm gonna make every day. This is a this is a, a woot rug. It's wool and jute combined. Joey woot. made that. Mm. Yeah. And your beautiful photos. I love it. They all look so good. They, they look match. So good. And, <laughs> God, That's perfect. There's a succulent wall. Oh yeah, you didn't see that. I know. They're not real though, aren't they? No, no, no. So everything you, in here. You know I can't yeah. take care of myself. So. <laughs> oh my figure. goodness, and the light fixtures. Right. So and with, I mean, your prints, like those photos, are such a celebration of your art. Thank you. You're so. You're so Good. No, you are. You are. Guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can just stay. <laughs> For sure. I love a good sectional couch. The corner is usually the best. Exactly. You'll just park your butt there. And the basket with the cozy. With a casual cozy. So much casual cozy <laughs> going on. Yeah, I'm obsessed with it. You know what? <laughs> I gotta be honest, my feet kinda hurt. Oh, I, can. I can't yeah, imagine why. This really seems like it was all very quick. Lily, thank you for having us. Thank you. Enjoy. Yay. This is so amazing. Okay. Just take a load off. All right. Thank you, guys. Here, take a nap with this. It's so soft. Cuddle like, in. <laughs> literally, are Bye. you kidding with this? I know, so soft. Oh my god. Thank you for everything. Bye. Bye. Love you. I'll see you soon. See, see you in our group text. <laughs> Oh my God, this has just been the most amazing thing ever. It's literally been two years in the making. So thank you, Kate and Joey. I don't, I'm never gonna leave my apartment. So uh, we'll have to have our text chain because that's probably the only communication we're gonna have unless you just wanna come over and hang out. I love Lily, and how about that shiplap? I mean, I mean, how about it. that moon DIY or the gal the, the, gal the, the universe. universe? I know. Well, it all just came together so well. Like that DIY universe on the shiplap is like one of my favorite combinations, my favorite vignettes we've ever done. Don't you guys agree? Like, wasn't that just so beautiful? You did such a good job. Oh, watch my hat. Aww. Guys, subscribe, thumbs up. We'll yes. see you on the next one. Yes. OMG, we're coming over. Thank you all, Creative Weirdos, for tuning in all the time. We so appreciate your eyeballs and your kind comments and your thumbs up and your subscriptions. Subscriptions? Oh, also, <laughs> go follow Lily on all of her awesome social media. Yeah. Check her out on Clever Style. Go follow her photography account. If you guys are fans of the photos she took, there's tons more on her Instagram. Lily, thanks for letting us come on. Yeah, Lily, you're fun. I'll see you for pizza movie night I'll soon. see you in our group text chain. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bye. guys, stay weird, stay wonderful, stay creative. Bye! <laughs> no, I've, I've been told so many times that my voice is so annoying, but it is absolutely something I can't change. I mean, I guess I could go to voice classes, but then I would be this like small person <laughs> with a very relaxing voice. And that would be super creepy, like don't you think? <laughs>